back in the village we broke some trees to build the tools our task would require. Welcome back to day three of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge where we're once again going back to the village to see that they are all uh, nice and happy in there since it is daytime and I did remember yes let us well it was a perfect oh carrots yes carrots and you no know, plant keep one plant one there you go and let's see I'm pretty sure that those trees probably have not grown yet because I'd be shocked if they did, but what we do need, yeah, okay, those are, there's the saplings right there. Well, first off, let's expose things here a little bit. That way we won't have too much in the way of uh, darkness in there because lighter it's in there the less likely anything nasty will build it and a little sandstone of course sandstone mm, completely forgot about that material but that would be a nice important material for building with now can you yes you can get s it would have been strange if sandstone couldn't be cut with a wooden pickaxe considering that you could get cobble that way not exactly what you would call one of the tougher materials in the world. There you go. And then go back to this. Now that would be of course mainly used for building. I do want to though get the cobble. But I just wanted to make sure that this place did not get too dark. Now. Good. I want enough here so that I could build all the stone tools I need. Now I'll probably do most of the stone tool building while I'm in the nether because we don't want to waste much daylight. Good and let's take this down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much I can I figure that we're probably going to hit sand at some point. That we do. Uh, so I'm hoping that actually I'm hoping to hit sand because the idea is hitting sand is that if we build in the area, we're less likely to have too much trouble with mobs and the like. Now, let's see. I will throw some of that down there. Some sad. Actually, some of this, what I want to do is to just reduce the spawnable locations around here. There we go. Now, let's go back to here. I don't want to have create a mob farm just by just as soon. Actually, what I do is I just put it at the entrance. Because, yeah, if, okay, if I create a mob farm and all right, okay, that's all done there. Yeah, that gives me an idea on the matter. Just some sand here. Okay, good. That means, yeah. And let's see, let's throw some. All right. So therefore, yeah, make it dark. There's just that. No, no matter what I do, something's eventually gonna. There's gonna be a point where things are gonna spawn. Yeah. All right. So let's not spend too much time on that. Every little bit helps. 
that now I have a source for tools, good. Use sand for sandstone. Good. I mean, they are playing on bugging out of this place, so uh, we might as well harvest what we can around here. Is that a seven? Uh, probably not. He. Oh, no, it is. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was only a. S oh well, f she's going to replant it. Fine. Good. Nothing else around here. Good. How are we doing for time right now? Really should get a good bearing to where east. Is. You would think that finding the sun in a desert would be an easy thing to do. And our first person decided to go and s it, it's ah it is it's not that late All right, where's cloud cover yeah it must be cloud cover all right that's gonna be a real fun to make things. Now, the question is what I consider to be... I don't want to tear up their village yet. I mean, eventually, if they are moving, I certainly won't be out of the question. I want to get as much sand... The idea of getting as much sand as possible is so that I can get half sandstone, so I can at least have s an alternative building material. Though I think cobble will be my preferred material. In fact, I should get a stone axe and get going on that as quickly as possible. Let's see, we have well, stone, maybe not a stone axe yet, but at least get a stone pickaxe. Good, and I think I'd also better get a stone sword. So, hopefully, how much damage do you do on that? 1.5 damage, 1.6, and a gold one does. Okay, a stone sword is better than a gold sword. That's something to, well, I suppose there is some logic to that, considering that gold isn't exactly what I'll call an optimal weapon material. Good. I just get worried when all the villagers seem to be hopping inside. Am I missing something? <laughs> ah, actually, they're not all inside. Hey, can I get up there? I, I know you like that location. Alright, well, nothing useful there. Just checking. Inspection time, you know. I'll probably have to grab some of these fences. That might be a good idea. Doors. They don't have too many doors here. Now I am going to have to use some of my wood here for doors. That I think is going to be... Uh, I'm not going to spring him till later. So, let's see. Maybe I don't want to use cactus. Because if I use cactus and kill some pigment, I have a feeling that the pigment might get riled and attack me. Ooh, a second piece of wheat. All right, I am still not good at judging the difference between... I still can't tell the difference between those two levels in there. So I'll have to live with that little little problem. And it is getting to be a night time, so hop back over into the nether.
And it looks like our first visitor here has arrived. Well, we did see him pop through earlier. Yeah, so what I want to do is to... build a platform here. Uh, that is safe. At least a lot safer than what I've got right now. And I'm, I'm going to go through this cobble very, very quickly, it looks like. Because I'm, I'm worried about gas blowing things up. And if they blow things up, villagers fall down to their deaths. So I am going to have to work on this. Now I'm going to have to do this almost like an apartment complex, I suppose, meaning it's going to have to be vertical rather than horizontal. Because I don't have too much of a foundation to work on at the moment. I guess I'll just have to put these back in there. Alright, so that tells me then that most definitely I'll need much, much, much more cobble. I suppose that means I need to harvest. Now I'm also going to find some iron, so therefore doing some serious deep mining in the next episode is going to be imperative. Now this is a nine day challenge. And I'm going, I think I'm going to be spending the nine days just getting the materials I need. I don't know how I'm actually going to be able to build anything. Well, that would be my... That's the challenge of it, I guess. Because here we are, day three. And I'm only on the most rudimentary amount of cobblestone. No iron yet. So it's not going to be easy on the matter. Now, quartz. Yeah, we... My main plan there, of course, is for decoration. There we go. And... Be all of this that we need. Good. And if you think... You say, how far am I along compared to where I expected to be? Well, I expected to die in day two, tell you the truth. Because I was saying, nether, pine leaf, eh, eh. They don't mix all that well. Right, because usually my way into the nether is to wait for it to be tamed by the other members of the server, but when you're on a single-player world, that doesn't work all that often. There you go there. Let's see, maybe I could use cactus for dyes, but then that would mean cooking it. Soul sense. What do I need here? All right, there we go. Yeah, this could be actually be a foundation for an apartment building or something like that. Hmm. See, now the villagers have me doing that now. <sighs> but that means then that we don't want anyone accidentally going on th this side of the portal. You know I'm going to die because... I desperately need to get to the other side of the portal, and I can't because I blocked off. You know that's going to happen. There you go. And... Good. Just give that a little bit more there. The idea there is that when you come to the portal, there's only one way to go. Good. So that's that. And do things just catch on fire out of for the fun of it or something? Usually when I think of catching on fire, I think of things like blazes or soul sand. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need a lot more soul sand. 
Because, yeah, I need a building block and certainly something to contrast with the... This is going to make the gloomiest home in the world. That's all I got to say. I ain't going to build them a house that's going to make them say, Why were we scared of zombies? <laughs> really? That's why I can't tear it down, though, because I am sure that they are going to want to go back home 10 minutes after they move in. They should have asked me to build them a way to keep out the zombies. That's what they should have asked. Instead, they said, all right, let's move out of here. And that's what they're going to be doing. Yeah, right. I don't see it lasting at all. Now, let's see. We've got plenty of soul sand here. Well, at least we don't have to, weren't in want of light. Certainly won't be in want of quartz either. I think most of my experience is from harvesting quartz. Probably all of my experiences from harvesting quartz. I mean, what else have I been mining that can get you in any way, shape, or form of that? Now, if I did find some iron, what am I going to do with it? How am I going to smelt it? Really? How do you smelt iron without... Well, okay, I've got some wood here. But I'm not going to get in large numbers because I'm spending most of my time in the nether, so things aren't going to grow all that well. <sighs> I mean, I'm going to need huge amounts, huge amounts of cobble just to get that up there. And <laughs> You're casing the place out, seeing if you really want to be here? I, mean, I, I could understand having your doubts. I mean, if I were being told that, yeah, this is going to be New York home, I might have some doubts about that, too. All right. Not some doubts. A whole... A whole boat of doubts. Let's see. That's going to be my entrance and exit. So, therefore... There you go. Oh, not there. So what I want to do is to put the chest here. Now we could throw the stuff in here. What do I not need at the moment? Well, I just want to make sure. I, okay, I want to save that. I want to save that. I need that just in case I need to eat anything. Netherrack, soul sand... It's nice to know where the gas is located so that I don't run a fa Oh, there are two gas. That one. Uh oh. Well, haha, you can't see me from there. Oh, but that one could. Okay, that one moved out. Alright. <gasps> gas! They're all over the place. I need to enclose the area, that's for sure. That has to be my next major task, then, is to enclose everything so that... Floating, gas floating by, don't just happen to say, Hello, Pine Leaf! Hello! We're gonna kill you, blast you, and all that fun stuff. And it's day three, so I can get out of here. <laughs> 